Hey there, hi, my name is Kevin Roulette. Welcome to Unwrap, presented by Murphy'sMagic.com. Hey, Justin. We're trying to film! <laughs> All right, welcome to Unwrapped. Hope you guys had an awesome week. It's Saturday, well what? Okay, uh, this week on Unwrapped, uh, we have two effects. The first one is Smudge by John Horn and Alakazam Magic. And the next one is The Last Prediction by Neil X? Kunil X? I'm not 100%. Mr. X, that sounds way more mysterious. Mr. X and Big Blind Media. So let's take a look at a live performance of The Last Prediction. Okay, we're here in Vegas with uh, Brett Loudermilk. Hello! And, and uh, Adam Franklin. Adam Franklin, alright, let's high five. Yes. Okay, uh, Adam, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a prediction uh -huh. here on this, uh, on this paper thing. But you can't see what it is yet. Okay? We're gonna break that like that. Okay. Uh, here, do me a favor, take the deck, shuffle it up, mix it up. Whatever you want, make sure it's a legit deck. That was a nice technique. Step, tap, tap. Good? Yep. Shuffle? Yep. yep. Can I shuffle? Yeah, you can shuffle. I'll do one of these. Oh, oh, oh dang. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Very Don't proud of it. Don't replay that in slow motion because that was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adam, pick up the deck. Yep. And uh, hold it face down like you are, yep. Yep. And start dealing the cards face down onto the table, like face down. Perfect. And whenever you would like to stop, you can just stop. It's a completely free choice up to you. What's today's date? Uh, I don't even know. It's okay. the 32nd. Do you want that one or do you want that one? Uh, th that one. That one? Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to isolate this card on a rubber band wrapped around the card box, all right? And you can put the other cards down. Uh, and, yeah, you can just, whatever, that's fine. And uh, now I had a prediction here earlier, really, right? Yep. And uh, it was the Jack of Hearts. That was my prediction. Okay. What we do first of all, before we look at that card, I want to build up the suspense. Take a look at those cards. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, pick them up and go through them real quick and see if you see a Jack of Hearts. Because if you see a Jack of Hearts now, this whole trick is just the worst. Let's see here. I don't think you so. See a King of Hearts. No, no. You don't no. see it. Okay, check this out. So I haven't touched it. It's been under that rubber band the entire time, right, Adam? Yeah. And you could have you dealt down to whenever you wanted to. You stopped. I had you had the option. You shuffled. Yeah. Right. My prediction was Jack of Hearts has been sitting there the entire time, right? Yeah. Everything, right? Check this out. Do me a favor. We're gonna slide it out. You take it. Turn it over. What is it? What? No. pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so that was a live performance of the last prediction. Uh, last prediction, uh, if you couldn't tell from the performance, is basically an open prediction effect where you have a prediction, you can place it on a piece of paper or whatever you like, sit it down onto the table, you have a spectator shuffle the cards, they, can, they handle the cards the entire time, they start dealing face down until they get to one card. You place it, um, uh, you have a rubber band wrapped around the box of the cards. You place the, uh, the card underneath the band, securing it so you can't touch it or alter it or anything like that. You have the spectator keep dealing and uh, you you know, you know turn over your prediction, it says the queen of hearts or whatever it may be. Uh, you then have them take the card out of the, the, um, the rubber band box and you can see that it matches perfectly. Now, uh, the DVD is well produced just like everything Big Blind Media has done. I haven't seen anything that they've produce that hasn't been good, the, the quality is good, the sound's good, the, the packaging is nice. Uh, the trick itself uh, is good. There's two versions he teaches. Uh, he teaches um, a gimmick version, which you get the gimmick. He teaches an impromptu version. The version that I performed is the impromptu version because I think it's equally, if not better, than the gimmick version. So it's great. So it really, you know, depending on your preference, you're getting two versions. Uh, so if you like gimmicks and, you know, not non, I wouldn't even call it side of hand, but non gimmick card tricks, you use the gimmick. If you like non gimmick card tricks, you use the non gimmick version. So you get two versions, well taught out. He also teaches, uh, you get a, a gimmick that works for a bicycle um, deck. I had a red one, came with mine. Uh, I'm not sure if they're all red or all blue or whatever. Um, but he also teaches you how to make this to whatever preference. So if you use a, a special deck that you like, like some special design deck, you can actually make this to fit your style, which is really nice that they added that to it. Um, 
the method is super very simple uh, it's simple and you know you might watch this um, the demo or the trailer and you might you might have a general idea of how it works but don't underestimate it because this is this can be really fooling especially to spectators uh, and that's why I like the impromptu version because I think it's equally as fooling as the gimmick version uh, if I say so myself I think it works just as fine plus what's nice is that I can do this at any time at any moment all I need is a rubber band uh, which I normally have on me anyway so it's nice so you don't have to carry around a gimmick uh, the gimmick version is slightly cleaner just a little bit cleaner than the, the non-gimmick version, but not by much. Uh, and like I said, I like the idea that I can do this anywhere, anytime. So besides that, I really don't have much to say. I'm a big fan of open prediction effects, and uh, I think they can be very fooling and, and uh, very impressive. Uh, and this is definitely a really good one. Um, and that's about it. That's all I really have to say about it. So let's go take a live, look at a live performance of Smudge by John Horn. Uh, we're gonna try a trick. Uh, do your favorite, take a, uh, just touch a car. Just touch one, touch one, which one? Oh. That one? Yep. yep. Take a look at it. Yep. 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 Uh, it's okay if I even see it, okay? Do your favorite, take this marker and just sign your name. Just scribble your name. There you go. Cool. So, first of all, that's your card. You select it. We're gonna try something with the Sharpie, okay? Uh huh. So uh, all Sharpies are the same. They both have the Sharpie written on it, right? Uh huh. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, take your hold out your thumb, like you're gonna like it's kind of like you're kind of smearing something. Uh huh. And just kind of uh, apply some pressure to it, and you can actually see. Now it says the seven. Oh my God! You can even look at it. You can take it. Look at it. Legit. Too legit. Yeah. All right, not enough. We're gonna start it's making awesome. the magic even better. All right. It's awesome. It's crazy. All right, so that was a live performance of Smudge by John Horn and Alakazam. Magic. Uh, first of all, let's start with the packaging. You get this lovely DVD, and it's uh, well produced. Just like Alakazam stuff is always really nice and well produced. Um, you get two uh, gimmick or not gimmick, uh, specially printed sharpies. Um, you get the six clubs and. Seven of Hearts, I think the other one is. Um, and it's uh, it's pretty good. So uh, DVD is well taught. Everything's taught on here. It teaches you multiple different handlings and different ways to do it and, and everything like that. Um, the marker, I, I'll just show you because it's nothing special here. Uh, so what you get is this nicely printed Sharpie marker uh, that has a smudge on one side that you can go from Sharpie to a smudge six of uh, Seven of Hearts. There you go. I knew it. Seven uh, Hearts, and it uh, it can reveal a card. Um, now there are other Sharpies out there that have the Sharpie logo is actually the name of the playing card. Other people put that out. Uh, even David Blaine did it on Jimmy Kimmel actually. Um, and I I was trying to debate if I thought doing it this way is more powerful or more of a magical effect than doing it just changing the lettering. And I'm still not sure. So I wanna know your guys' opinion. So if you if you think one's better than the other, let us know, comment below and let me know. Um, what is nice about this one compared to the, just the lettering that changes is that you get this magical moment of the spectator like pulling and smudging it and they see something visibly happen. With the other one, it's all about basically camouflaging the six of hearts, for example, in the same lettering as a Sharpie. And, and that can be um, not noticed at first. They might not notice anything happen. So it's more of a subtle thing. But with this effect, you visibly see it being smudged and altered right there. And it looks very magical as they rub their, their finger across it. Um, so I'm still debating which one I like better than the other ones. Uh, but the, the, I think this is fine for what it is. Um, these are, you know, I think these are legit Sharpies. Um, they look like it, smell like it, everything like that. So the, it's made nicely and you can use this for your regular routines, card routines, whatever. Uh, and like what's nice is that you get two of these because technically, if you wanted to, you could reveal one um, do a switch and then have a second card reveal too. I don't know, that's probably overkill and it probably isn't impressive, but if you want to, you can, or if you're doing restaurant walking around and you know, you do this table and then you go to this table, it's not gonna be the same reveal. So it's not like, oh, Mr. Magician has this as a trick marker. Um, that's my Mr. Magician. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, uh, so besides that, it's everything's good. Uh, DVD is well taught, uh, different routines and handlings are taught, how to visual, visually change it. Um, you get two of these, the DVD is good. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple review, but I do wanna know what your opinion is. Do you think it's better to visibly see it sponge like this one, or do you think the other ones out on the market uh, that are just already there are better? So please comment below and let me know what you think of that. I was unwrapped hope you loved it and hope you enjoyed it hope it was everything that you expected it to be yeah uh if you watched Unwrapped before you know that every single week we give away last week's uh, review products which were the streets by uh, john archer and the wallet weapon by lloyd barnes and the winner of this week's prizes i have on my phone uh, is uh, gilbert barnett so gilbert what's up you won. Congratulations. Go to facebook.com slash refuse magic supplies. Shoot me a message and I will get you your prizes out to you. And also, I just want to note, uh, he, he commented and he went on for a little bit, but then he's like, great review show. I just found about your show and watched all the episodes last night. The fact that you watched, what is it, 23 episodes of me yammering about magic in one night, you deserve more than a prize, sir. You, in, you, you need just gold and money and stuff because I can't even do that. So, but thank you for watching. I'm glad you enjoy the show uh, and contact us and we will get you your prizes. Now, if you would like to win this week's prizes, which yes, once again is Smudge by John Horn in the last prediction, I'm just gonna call him by Mr. X and Big Blind Media, then do the exact same thing. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. You must subscribe, you must hit subscribe. It takes a second, subscribe, I do check. And also comment below, tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about both of these effects. You can go into detail, you can make it short and sweet whatever you want just comment below and tell me what you liked and what you didn't like then next week i will pick a random winner to win both of these prizes so good luck i'll see you next week going to disneyland tomorrow it's gonna be great so good it's gonna be great it's gonna be good so good